As a pianist, mastering the technique of legato is essential to create a smooth and seamless sound while playing. Legato refers to the technique of playing a sequence of notes in a smooth, connected manner, without any gaps or silences between them. In this podcast, we'll explore the fundamentals of legato technique and share some tips on how to practice it effectively. First and foremost, it's important to understand that playing legato requires a certain amount of finger control and dexterity. This means that you need to develop finger independence, and the ability to control the amount of pressure you apply to the keys. To achieve this, start by practicing your finger independence exercises, such as anon exercises, churny exercises, or any other technique exercises that focus on finger control. Once you feel comfortable with your finger control, you can begin practicing legato technique by focusing on two key elements, finger movement and pedal control. When playing legato, you should aim to keep your fingers close to the keys, avoiding any unnecessary movements. This will help you create a smooth, flowing sound without any interruptions. Additionally, the pedal can be used to enhance the legato effect by connecting the notes even further. However, it's important to use the pedal judiciously and only when necessary, to avoid muddying the sound. One exercise to practice legato is to play a simple scale or arpeggio, focusing on connecting each note smoothly. Start by playing the first note with a slight emphasis, and then gently roll your finger onto the next note without lifting it completely off the key. Gradually increase the speed of the scale or arpeggio while maintaining the smooth legato connection between the notes. As you become more comfortable with the technique, you can incorporate variations such as changing the dynamics, playing staccato notes, or playing with different tempos. Another exercise to improve your legato technique is to practice playing a simple melody, such as a folk song or a popular tune, with a legato touch. Start by playing the melody slowly and focus on keeping the notes connected. Once you can play the melody smoothly, try adding in some variations such as changing the dynamics or playing the melody in a different key. As you get more comfortable with playing legato, you can begin incorporating more complex pieces and challenging yourself to play them with a smooth, connected touch. In conclusion, mastering the legato technique is an important aspect of piano playing. It requires a combination of finger control, pedal control, and finger independence, and can be practiced through exercises such as scales, arpeggios, and melodies. Remember to start slow and gradually increase the speed while maintaining the smooth, connected sound. With consistent practice and dedication, you can improve your legato technique and add a new level of depth and expression to your playing. Thank you for listening to Piano Knight's channel, leave us your comments and don't forget to subscribe and share.